Yes. Game just started. About five minutes ago. And he scored? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Giants have the ball first down. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Yes. Um, who are you? <laughs> oh, I'm Tony. Tony? Yeah, who are you? I, my name is Hilton Lucas. This is my house. Oh, Mr. Lucas. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I heard a lot about yeah. you. Give it up. Yeah. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Right. Mr. Right. Lucas. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. The yeah. game. The game. The game. Yeah. Um, could I ask you one more question, Tony? What's that? Uh, why are you in my house? <laughs> my cable's out. So you just walk around the city when your cable is out, find a house where you think people are friendly, and you come in and watch the cable? No, 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 no. I'm friends with Griffin. Ah, uh, Griffin! So where's Griffin? No, 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 he's not here. He's not he's, here. He's, he's not here? No, sir, he gave me a key. <laughs> he gave you a key to my house. Look he what I found. Right no, no, look. Hello, oh, how are you? This, this <laughs> sandwich, see, I made oh, these for sandwich. myself to and watch the TV. Because there's nothing else in there. Hello? Mm. Rick, the sandwich, man. You want right. Who are you? Rick. Rick. Why are you walking around half naked in my house coming from upstairs? Uh, my clothes in the dryer. Yes. Ooh, <laughs> dryer slow. <laughs> Erica? Yeah, yeah. Um, Erica, <laughs> do, do, you know, do you know these people, dear? Of course. You know them. It's but, Steve. Wait until you, you see you, Steve. You wait till no, you see Yo, what y'all think? I just, uh, you know. Oh, you <laughs> see? Monica, I've been hanging out for a week. It's been going well. I can't get her off me. They, they, they're like cattle. They travel in herds. <laughs> and they'll trample your property and eat everything in sight. And that's why the moment they're born, you start saving for college for them. College is like a big cattle drive. And that's why tuition keeps going up. <laughs> they know you'll pay it. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm Hector. I'm in a hurry, so where's the kitchen? No, no, Hector, we're not going there. We're not going to the kitchen, because it's all gone. So all everything's gone. taken care of? Everything's taken care of. I'll see you. Yeah, OK, Hector. Why don't you talk to Erica and Griffin and try to work out a compromise? A compromise? They're living in our house for free. That's a compromise. Well, at least let them know how you feel before you get angry, start ranting and raving and throwing people out. I didn't throw anybody out. You didn't? No. Well, that's an improvement. <laughs> Did Hector come? Hector. The exterminator. I've been trying to get him to take care of that mouse in the kitchen for a week now. Mouse in the kitchen? Yes. Yes, he came by. Oh, good, because Erica is terrified of mice. Oh, right then. There you are, Hilton, the lovely espresso. That'll calm you right down. <laughs> Colleen is working at becoming one with the espresso machine. You're making espresso? Of course, I must, I must. We both must, and I'm lagging behind, but if you would try that. <laughs> yes, no, there, there it is, there it is. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. It. I no, love that, my coffee that, in clots. Oh, oh dear, this is uh, Ruth. There's something wrong with that espresso machine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the machine. Well, yes, there must be something wrong with the machine. You told me I was doing very well, so obviously we're not being truthful. Pauline, you can't handle the truth. Of course I can handle the truth. My word. You can just think of me as one of our very biscotti. Sweet on the outside, but inside one tough cookie. Ooh. <laughs> All right. 
The words to describe coffee should be robust and flavorful, not cruel and unusual. <laughs> now that you're warmed up, perhaps you have a few choice words you'd like to say about my mother. Excuse me. There seems to be a mistake here. This is not the yard of your school. You guys are supposed to be over here, right? Excuse me. A teacher is taking a nap in there. He told us to play here instead of there. OK. You know how cows make a noise? Moo. OK, now do it with your mouth closed. I'm sorry you had to see that, but it was very necessary. See, they may look cute now, but I promise you, today it's duck, duck, goose in my yard, and tomorrow they're shaving their heads in my bathroom. <laughs> Hector? Yes, yes, this is Mr. Lucas. The, the, I'm sorry I thought you were one of the locusts that had come to the house. If you would come by tomorrow when my wife is not here, see, because uh, I told her that you had already, you know, caught the mouse. Yes. Yes, I know I told my wife a lot. Yes. Are you married? Well, you, you'll understand when you get married. <laughs> yes. All right. Hello. I'm happy to see the two of you are here because this is exactly uh, what I want to talk to you about, uh, the house here. Good. Uh-huh. Because we have a big problem. You do? Yes. What yes. is it? Our friends don't like you. No. <laughs> They don't, they don't feel comfortable when they come here. You know? They don't feel at home. If your friends don't like me when they come to my house, this is a simple solution, isn't it? They don't come to my house. <laughs> I mean, they're not my friends, so I really won't miss them, will I? Yeah. Which is one of the reasons why I have this for you. These are rules. These are rules of the house. So that, we're you, adults. Yes, you all live in your house. And you. Yeah. This is whose house? It's your house. Say it without gagging. <laughs> it's your house. Thank you! Be a man. Neither one of you have j j jobs. Jobs! jobs. <laughs> Rule number one. Thou shalt not have visitors in this house, also known as my house, when you are not here to accompany said visitors. What, I mean, what if, you know, what if we're running late, right? And we tell somebody to, to meet us here. When did you know you were running late? Before I was late, right before I was late. <laughs> what is my friend supposed to do? Wait. What if it's cold outside? What if they don't have a coat? You know, what, what if the bear's chasing them or a war breaks out? Okay, no bear. Forget the bear. Rule number two is, thou shalt not feedest my foodest or drinketh to thy friendseth. <laughs> and one of these days, I'm going to open up that refrigerator and there's going to be nothing in there except a box of arm and hammer. I, I bet you. Rule number three, thou shalt not lend my stuff to others. What if they're dependable? <laughs> Rule number four, pay close attention to this, Erica. Thou shalt not allowest men upstairs. That's a good rule. Thank you. <laughs> well, what about women with Griffin? What about women with Well, Griffin? can he have women upstairs? Sure he can. <laughs> but they won't go. I you know, look, yeah. we have to be real and talk about what is dangerous. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. Wait, but, do, you want, do you understand that? But what about, what about Julius? Dad, Julius? He's, he's my boyfriend. 
I'm glad you mentioned that. It was a rule I forgot. <laughs> rule number five. Especially not Julius. Julius and I have a relationship. You even remember what it was like when you were young. And that's why he's not going up there. <laughs> Julius looks at you, I see that look in his eyes. You understand? What look? Look at her. <laughs> now give her the look that we all give when we have lust. Please, just try this one. I know it'll be right. Isn't animal testing illegal in New York City? I promise this will be the last one. Well, at least you have foam this time. You have yes. a head of foam. Yes, sir. Now, how is that? You're not numb or anything. That's a problem. What are you eating, Dad? Coffee. Sorry I'm late for dinner. I, I had dinner over at Tony's. Oh, that's no problem. Listen, I'll just put your plate right in the fridge. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'll, I'll make room. <laughs> hey! Whoa, there. Hey. What? There. What? Did you see it? See what? Did you see the coffee running through me? Wow. I've mastered that. Time to move on to the ice drinks. Excellent. Ruth, could I use your blender? Griffin, didn't you lend the blender to Monica? <laughs> You lend a blender to Monica? That's violation of rule number three. Do not lend of my stuff to anybody. Listen, Monica's bad. Listen, she promised that she'd bring it back. Monica's bad. You can't do that to Watch me. Watch my face. Bad. <laughs> I'm upset. I don't even want to eat. You know? You know, oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. About the thing that runs through me. Julius, how'd you get in here? He gave me a key. Right, right, right. So, um, did anybody see you come in here? Uh, no. The house was empty when I came in, so I didn't want to wait downstairs because I did not want to run into your father. Uh, and, uh, uh, speaking of him... What's wrong? Um, he doesn't want me to have guys up in my room. Okay, well, what's that got to do with me? <laughs> um, he said especially you. If he finds you up here, he's gonna kill you. Oh, Erica, I'm just trying to stay out of the man's way. I'm not gonna stand for this. I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna tell him you're up here. You're gonna go tell him I'm... No, Erica, you're not... No, no. So you, you, you don't want to tell him I got a better idea. Why don't I just wait up here until he goes to sleep, and then I'll just slink out under the cover of darkness? Hmm? I like that better. <laughs> I'll be up there, dear, but right now I can't go to sleep. That espresso. Woo! And now, the miniseries channel proudly presents in its entirety, Shogun. Shogun, all right. <laughs> Oh, Herrica, honey, I haven't been to the bathroom in 18 hours, and you're bringing me more juice? I got two words, sweetie. Rope ladder. Julia, so oh, I don't have a rope ladder, but everybody's downstairs, so you can use the bathroom. Hey, what are you doing in the hallway? I'm waiting for the bathroom. What's in there? Dad. He, he's on the couch downstairs. I'm at mom. She's in the kitchen. Oh, hey, Griffin, what's up? <laughs> Julius? Oh, that is against the rules. Shh, now, come on. Promise you won't tell anybody. Yeah, I'm, I, I won't tell. I won't, it just might slip out. Come on, Griffin. But, say please. Please. Say, say pretty please. Pretty please. Yeah, now, now do a dance. Like how? Like, like this. All right, now get this. Do it again. Oh. Okay. 
Come on, dance, dance. Okay, okay, one more time. I, think okay. I almost have it. Okay. Uh, hey. <laughs> and now, part nine of Shogun. Oh, Hilton, didn't you get any rest? Oh, dear, Everett, this is keeping me awake. You just see the suicides, the beheadings, and the, the boiling man in the pot is keeping me occupied. This is... He's boiling. I'm just... Oh, yeah, he's boiling. The pot is boiling. Oh, you should have seen him. Put another one in, in there, dear. <laughs> ah, here they are, my obedient daughter and my disobedient house guest. You're right. You're right. I've been a bad boy. But I think that if anybody, anybody breaks any of your rules, they should be evicted. Exactly. <laughs> Erica, would you please grab that box of muffins and bring them across the street? Yeah, why don't you go ahead? Because me and your father have a lot to talk about. Griffin? Go ahead. I'm going to go get something to eat. <laughs> Hello, Hector. Listen, my wife is gone. Now would be a good time. You come over here, and I want you to kill him. <laughs> See, I would kill him myself, but I'd rather leave it to a professional. You understand? <laughs> I don't know where he is, but I know that he's here. And I don't care how you do it. I want you to poison, uh, burn him up, set a trap, do anything like that. You understand what I'm saying? But I want you to get rid of him and get him out of my house. Yes. All right. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Lucas. How you doing? Is Griffin home? Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing? hey, Monica. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. I came to return your blender. Oh, Thank terrific. You. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just by the way, could I borrow your camera for a little while longer? Come on now. Oh, you know gee. how we. Oh, <laughs> okay, great. You see, my boyfriend and I were getting ready to go to Hawaii, and I really would. We really need to use it. Thanks so much. Yeah. <laughs> hey, aloha. Aloha. Erica, I've got to get out of here. Erica, your father has put a contract out on me. What? I, I heard him. He knows that I'm here, and I heard him on the phone, and he was talking to his people. His people? Yes. He doesn't have any people? Oh, he's got people, and, or he's got at least one, and his name is Hector. No, it's just all the stress. You're not thinking clearly. No, no, I'm thinking clearly about your father on the phone. He Hello, Hector, see? Now's the time to get him. Yeah, if you got to boil him, just kill him. You can burn him or fry him. I just want him dead now. What are you looking for? Griffin, we got an unwanted guest in this house, and when I find him, I'm gonna kill him. So you saw him? Of course I saw him. I just don't know where he is. Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> Erica? Dad? Come on, I, I have to get in the room. There's uh, something I have to do. I've checked every other room, Erica. I gotta come in there. Dad, uh, yeah. what's up uh, with the bed? Well, d dear, I think this is one of those times where you're better off not knowing what's going to happen. Dad, you're, uh, you're making me nervous. This is not going to be a pretty sight, honey. And I think you better leave the room when you see it. <laughs> Griffin! You, did you find him? Huh? You told him? He already knew. <laughs> Can't you just tell him to go away and never come back? <laughs> you take him with this. You bash him. <laughs> You like my shirt? You like my shirt? You like my shirt? My shirt is... You like my shirt? Ow! Ow! Feel good! I feel good! Good! Ow! Judas, what are you doing up here? You know you're not supposed to be up here. I don't know what Hilton would do if he saw you right now. Julius, are you crying? What is Julius doing here? He 
he's crying. <laughs> well, let him go on in and lie down. Sit down. You know, Dad, um, I know that at this stage of my life, it's hard for you and me to live under the same roof. Well, I'm not leaving. <laughs> I don't want you to leave. Yeah, oh, well, isn't that nice of you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, I, I, I want you to know that you're my little girl, and you're welcome back here at any stage in your life, OK? Thank you, Dad. All but right. you know I'm not at the little girl stage anymore. I'm a woman. Oh, yes, I understand that. But I still see you as my little girl. I know that. And I know yeah. why you don't want me and Julius upstairs. But I hope that you trust me enough to know that I would never violate the rules that you have in your house for your little girl. I trust you. I mean, I do. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All I know is, if I ever hear her shout out the Lord's name, <laughs> from that bedroom, Jesus better be in there. <laughs> 